welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here today because it is officially fall, which means we'll be making a super fun fall themed charcuterie board. Now I'll be taking you along with me so that we can get everything that we'll be needing today. Now if you do love this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more fun videos just like this. Today we'll be heading over to Aldi as well as Trader Joe's to get all the essentials we'll be needing. These are two really great places for affordable quality meats and cheeses and crackers and dried fruits and just everything you need for a fabulous charcuterie board. I also really love Costco for these types of things as well, but today we'll just be going to Aldi and Trader Joe's. So with that being said, let's head out. So if you didn't know yet, today we're gonna to be making a super duper easy charcuterie board and it is going to be fall themed. I feel like I have been waiting so long to finally make one and we are now a couple days into fall and I am so excited to do this. So I'm coming to Aldi pretty late at night. Aldi closes at 8 p.m. and it is now 7.30. So we have exactly 30 minutes to grab everything that we need. I'm going to make this as simple and easy as possible because although I want it to be absolutely beautiful, I also believe that beautiful sometimes is just nice nice and simple so I hope this takes the pressure off making a charcuterie board sometimes I feel like people think they have to be like charcuterie connoisseurs in order to make this happen and honestly you don't charcuterie boards can be so easy just grab all of your favorite cheeses and meats and favorite selections and make that thing happen so let's head on in Okay, so we are in our cheese aisle and I am gonna show you just some quality and affordable options that you can purchase at Aldi. Here we have our Parmesan and it is only $3.29. That is freaking awesome for Parmesan cheese. It's not the super fancy stuff, but it definitely does the job. And then I'm also gonna pick up some brie. This is my go-to place to grab brie. It's just $2.99, so I honestly always pick up about like four or five. Next, I'm going to pick up some of this white cheddar. Now, this one is slightly aged, so it does have a little bit of a sharp flavor. Next, we have some salami, and they are just at $4.79. This salami really does go a long way, so one pack is honestly more than enough. I also really love this gourmet deli selection. It comes with three really great choices of meats, and it is just... $4.49 for all of that. And next, you cannot have a charcuterie board without some prosciutto. So I will also be picking up some of this and it is priced at just $2.69. Next, let's head over to the nuts. So they have a whole bunch of different options. I believe I have some pecans at home, but I really like to have this too. It's just a really convenient thing to just toss on any charcuterie board. And they honestly don't get old very fast, so it's really handy to have in the house. And all that just for $4.99, pretty good if you ask me. Next, I'm going to pick up some pumpkin seeds, as well as some dried cranberries for $1.59, pretty darn cheap. Um, dried Mediterranean apricots. This is gonna be perfect because of the color at just $2.75. And then some raw honey. This is typically where I get my honey just because you get a whole lot for very little. We'll also pick up some apricot. And this is probably one of my most favorite things for this board, the maple leaf cream cookies. They are so fall, I'm obsessed. And I also found this pumpkin cheesecake caramel popcorn. It's gonna look so cute. And last but not least, I think my favorite, favorite item here at Aldi is this six cracker assortment box. It comes with so many different options of crackers and goes such a long way and $2.95. Amazing. So this is everything that we're taking here today. So we are going to head out. We are also making a quick pit stop at Trader Joe's for some pumpkins and maybe some Manchego cheese as well. Oh, and actually we cannot forget our dried florals because that's gonna make all the difference on this board and make it look super duper fall. All right guys, so I am back from Aldi and I actually went to Trader Joe's as well and I picked up some more stuff and this is everything that I ended up with. Sorry if you hear my dog's <laughs> nails walking along the floor. <laughs> She's walking around. So yeah, so this is just some of the stuff I bought, so I'll just quickly go over it. So here we got some crackers that we got at Aldi. I love this box. This box is absolutely amazing because it's an assortment and it has so much. 
We got some pears and apples. May or may not slice those. Kind of overbought some stuff because I'd rather have more than have less because I can always use some of the stuff another day. Some pumpkins I thought would be super cute to put in the actual charcuterie board. But here we have some apricot, which is super useful also. Some rosemary, might use that as well. Some grapes as another fruit. Now we have some dried fruits as well. So dried cranberries, so which are perfect for the season. And then some nuts, of course. Some dried apricots, I love these because they're orange. We have some pumpkin seeds because of course it is the season for pumpkins. I also found this right here, which I loved. It is pumpkin cheesecake drizzled caramel popcorn. I felt like that would be just such a nice touch. It has a glaze on it, which would give the board some more texture. And then it's a little brown. So found that at Aldi as well. Also found all these meats at Aldi. They are so affordable and it comes with an assortment. So just with this right here, we have four different types of meats. And I also got this one at Aldi as well. So it's like a smaller size, which I think fits really nicely for this board. I really like the spicy dry salami better than the regular one. So that's why I got that and it comes with a whole bunch. Parmesan, no it's not Parmigiano Reggiano, which is personally my favorite, but it is a really good price and I found this one at Aldi. And it definitely does the job. And then here we have some white cheddar, which I actually really love this white cheddar. And we'll go ahead and slice that. And we have some Mancheco. Gotta have Mancheco. I absolutely love Mancheco. It's probably one of my favorite cheeses. I got this one at Trader Joe's. They usually have it at Aldi for a really good price, but they didn't have it when I went, so I got it there. Some smoked Gouda. Smoked Gouda is honestly my favorite Gouda. By the way, if you've never used this in a macaroni and cheese, that will totally change your life. Definitely recommend that. And then I also got some dried florals. I thought this would be such a nice touch as well for the charcuterie board, just to continue giving it that fall vibe. So I will show you how I put that together in the end. And then some maple leaf cream cookies, which I thought would be super good for this fall themed charcuterie board. Some honey, got this at Aldi. I needed to restock because I'm running low on mine, so I purchased that. Last thing I forgot to mention is I actually got this board right here at Home Goods. I honestly have a ton of boards, but I kind of wanted a round one that spinned. I felt like it would work really well since I'm taking this to a little party. So this is pretty much everything that we're working with. So let's get into it. And I'm going to grab my brie and my pumpkins and kind of just situate them so I can figure out where I want them. And next I'm going to start unwrapping my brie because I'm going to start off by cutting out a nice pretty leaf into my brie. Now, of course, you can use a pumpkin cookie cutter or any type of cookie cutter you want. Now for this, I'm making it fall themed and I already have some pumpkins on the board. So I felt like a nice maple leaf would look perfect. When it comes to cutting out a shape on the brie, I really like to use the flatter side for this part, just so it looks nice and clean and the design is really visible once it's cut out. Now, when you are doing this, you're just gonna wanna give it a nice firm press down like you would if you were cutting out a cookie. The only difference is that brie is a lot thicker, so you're gonna wanna make sure it really cuts all the way through, and then once you have it fully through the brie, you're just gonna continue to play with it and push it through until it is all the way out. You will have to be a little bit patient and gentle when you're cutting out of the brie, just because the brie can break if you are too tough with it. So as long as you're gentle the whole way through, it should come out nice and easy. Later on, I'll be pouring some honey into this. You can obviously pour some apricot preserves or some cranberry sauce or really whatever it is you wanna put inside. However, I would recommend that you put maybe some wax paper under it or just some kind of um, parchment paper or something under it so that at least whatever you put inside, it doesn't leak too much. Now my honey did end up leaking a little bit, so next time I will make sure to put something under it, but hopefully this way you won't make the same mistake I did. And once you have fully pushed your design through the brie, you can actually separate it on the side or you can actually include it as a part of your charcuterie board. Next, I'm going to start working on our prosciutto. So I'm going to grab a slice and fold it in half. And then you're just going to fold it back and forth almost until it looks like a ribbon. And you'll wanna pinch it on the very bottom, allowing the ribbon part to be on the top. And all of the techniques we'll be doing today will be pretty simple. I am in no way a charcuterie professional. However, I really do love myself some cheese and meat. <laughs> and I have made quite a couple charcuterie boards. So I hope that this makes it just a little bit easier for you when you're making yours. 
Next, I'm going to put some of those apricots in the corner next to the brie to give the board that nice orange fall color. Then I'm going to take out my manchego cheese and since it's already shaped in a triangle, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a couple slices. And since they are quite large slices, I'm going to slice those in half again. And then I'm just going to fan out those triangles along the side of the board. I do recommend kind of trying to overlap each of the triangles over each other. I find that gives it a little bit more of like a soft fan look. Next, I'm gonna grab some of my seven grain crackers that I purchased in the second cracker assortment box from Aldi. And I'm just going to layer some of those crackers in between the manchego and the prosciutto and pumpkin. These specific crackers are some of my favorite in this box. I find that they kind of pair well with almost anything and that's why I really love them. Next, I'm going to cut more of those triangular slices of my manchego and I'm just going to position them next to each other in opposite directions and put them next to these pumpkins. This is another technique that looks super cute. As you can tell, I'm using the same exact cheese, but it offers a completely different look entirely on the board. Okay, so that's looking good. Now I am going to take out my dried florals and I'm just going to cut some of those so that we can kind of start to fan those out on the side. I kind of want to fill the outside and then work my way in. Now it's time to add some more meats. So I'm gonna take out our bite-sized spicy dry salami and I'm just going to stack this all along the entire board. I really like how this looks. This is one of my favorite meats to put with pretty much everything. It just has a nice kick to it. So I really want a whole lot of it on this board. I personally really like to cater my charcuterie board to the people that I'll be serving it to. And in this case, I'll be feeding it to my family along with myself. I'm definitely gonna enjoy this one. So I really just catered all the meats and cheeses to the things that I know that they like best. Continue with the meats, I'm going to be grabbing from the deli selection meats that I purchased at Aldi. And I'm gonna be starting with the capocolo. And we're pretty much gonna be doing the same thing that we did with the prosciutto. So I'm just going to fold it in half and then I'm just going to fold it back and forth, kind of creating that fan or ribbon like look to it. And I'm just going to continue to follow the same process over and over again and actually pair them all next to each other, making as big of a fan or ribbon as I can possibly make and placing it nice and snug on the board. And now I'm gonna go back to the cheeses. So I'm going to take out my white cheddar cheese and then I'm just going to do some nice simple slices of the cheese and then cut those slices in half so that I can just simply layer this cheese throughout the board. The goal is to cut even slices of the cheese so that all the rectangles are pretty much the same size. So they look really nice when we layer them. So first I'm going to place it right below the apricots kind of coming out of the brie. And then I'm also gonna put it in the other corner to the bottom right. And now these I was super excited for. I love these so much. So these are just maple leaf cookies and I think they just really add a nice fall look. I'm just gonna place these around the corners and kind of layer them a bit. Next we'll add some of our smoked Gouda and I'm gonna cut this one pretty simple. I'm going to do some nice even slices and they're gonna be a little bit longer of slices and we're just going to fan this out around the white pumpkin here to the right. I think this will look really nice in this corner with some of the dried florals and just like that, good to go. Now I'm gonna go back in with some of my capocolo just so I can make sure that that side is really nice and full. From the same deli selection, I'm going to be grabbing some of my pepper salami and then I'm going to be creating small fans with this. So I'm just going to grab a piece of salami, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again. And then we'll just start to stack those until it is nice and full and you can kind of just feather out the top just so it looks nice and open and like fanned out. 
and kind of fill in any areas that I would like to add some more. So I'm just cutting the halves into halves and then I'm just stacking some of the areas that looked a little bit more empty so that we can begin going into our charcuterie board with some other things. I try my best to kind of create differentiation with the colors. Sometimes it's not always perfectly possible, but the more differentiation that you create in color, I think really makes a big difference to the overall look of the board. And here I created just another stack of that white cheddar cheese and I'm putting it right here in the middle where I see just a little bit of space. Next, I'm taking out some of this pumpkin cheesecake caramel popcorn and I'm just going to toss some of that right in the center of the board. I think this is a really great place to put it. And then I'm going to grab some pecans. These are just some leftover pecans I actually had at my house that I'm just tossing in this corner because I wanted that rich brown color. And then I'm gonna toss some cranberries in another corner and some pumpkin seeds in this corner right here. I'm gonna add some more apricots as well and fill in some of the empty areas with some more prosciutto. And for the finishing touches, now I'm gonna go ahead and fill the brie with some honey. So I think this looks so, so nice, but I really do recommend trying to put something right under your brie just to make sure it is nice, flat, and snug so that your honey does not leak. All right guys, I hope that you love this video and I hope it gave you some really great ideas of how you can make a super easy and affordable charcuterie board. As you can tell, you do not need to be a professional to do this. Once you start to just have some fun with it, everything just flows so much better. If you do love your charcuterie board, make sure to give me a tag on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see your creation and thank you so much for stopping by. See you in the next video, bye.